Good morning, little children. Today we're going to be reading our story called When Grandpa Was a Boy. This is a lesson two leveled reader. And this is how the back looks. Okay, this story is going to be told by this boy right here. He's going to tell us what his grandpa liked to do when he was a kid. And also what they like to do together now. It's called, When Grandpa Was a Boy. And maybe you like doing things with your grandparents. So think about some things that you've done with them. When Grandpa was a boy. They're outside fishing in this picture. Hmm. This is a black and white picture. This is a color picture. In the old days, they still hadn't invented how to make pictures have colors in them. So when they took pictures, with a camera, they didn't have iPhone cameras, they were old-fashioned cameras, they came out black and white. And Mrs. Gillum lived when cameras only made black and white pictures. So all my baby pictures and pictures when I was a little girl are in black and white. So it says, Grandpa was a boy many years ago. He liked to look for birds. So there's his grandpa when he was a kid. Actually, it says boy. And there's the bird he's looking at with his binoculars. Now, grandpa likes to look for birds with me. Okay, so they're outside looking at birds, and this says Grandpa. That's his special name to this boy. The boy calls him Grandpa. That's why it begins with a capital G, because that's his special name. Oh, this picture is from when the Grandpa was a little boy, and it's showing him in the water. See the water? He's floating in it on his back. His mom and dad are making sure he doesn't drown out here. Grandpa liked to swim when he was a boy. Whoa, this light needs to be taken out. Let me see if that's going to help. No. Yes. Okay, that's better. Now, Grandpa likes to swim with me. So that's him swimming as a boy. And now he's teaching him how to float on his back. Another picture where they're outside. I think that Grandpa likes being outside. And the boy, too. Grandpa liked to get fish when he was a boy. Now, Grandpa likes to get fish with me. They're outside again. Over here, the Grandpa's fishing with his fishing pole. And over here, he's fishing with his grandson. Grandpa liked to play in the snow when he was a boy. Now, Grandpa likes to play in the snow with me. Another picture where they're outside. They have their sleds. Well, at least over here he had his sled. And now they have a sled. They're sl sledding on the snow, 
snow is that white cold stuff that we got to see last year in Mojave. Grandpa liked to take pictures when he was a boy. Now Grandpa shows his pictures to me. And sometimes your moms will keep your, your pictures on her phone. But in the old days, they had photo albums. And they would tape the pictures in there. And this word says pictures. Pictures. So over here, it asks us, what does Grandpa like to do? And remember, as always, if you forget what he likes to do, you can just look at the pages. Over here, it shows him looking at birds. So he likes looking at birds. And then, I think I skipped a page. He likes swimming in the water. He likes fishing. Wow, this grandpa likes to do a lot of stuff. He likes sledding in the snow. And I guess he liked taking pictures because he's showing them to him. So who is in this story? Grandpa and the boy. And do you re remember what the grandpa did in the pond? The pond. Okay, that's a river. The pond. Hmm. The one page I've skipped. What did he like doing in the pond? A pond is like a small lake. He likes swimming. You're right. He's... And what did Grandpa like to do in the snow? when he was a boy. Do you remember that one? What did he like to do in the snow? That's not snow. That's a river. He liked to sled in the snow. He likes to do lots of things outside. Do you remember? Let's just go from the very beginning. He, Grandpa likes to look at birds. Grandpa likes to swim in the pond. Grandpa likes to fish. Grandpa likes to sled. These are all the things that he can do outside. And that was it, this one he did inside. So um, that's our story. And that's all we're going to do with this book today. All right. Bye-bye.